morning, I'm David Livingston with TJ Cigar Lounge, and this is my beautiful assistant, Lauren. We're here in beautiful downtown McGregor to talk to you today about premium cigars. Now, premium cigars are as much about what they are as, uh, as much as they are what they're not. What a premium cigar is, a uh, premium cigar is pure virgin tobacco. It is grown in the region north and south of the equator around the world. Now, where the flavor comes from in these cigars is from each of the different countries. So, a particular country will have a certain climate, a certain soil type, and that will give that tobacco leaf a certain oil. And it will taste different than another country's soil and climate that is produced, that, that is produced there. So, the combining of the different countries in the different places in the cigar gives you the different flavor profiles. So in each cigar, you have three different kinds of leaves. You got a binder, a filler, and a wrapper. Now the binder is what gives the cigar its shape. The filler is what is in the middle. And the wrapper is the most important leaf and it's the one leaf on the outside of the cigar, which gives it most of its flavor. There's some argument in the industry about how much, but for argument's sake, we'll say um, 70%, okay? okay? So the one leaf on the outside is the most important. Each of the leaves can come from the one tobacco plant. The plant can produce anywhere from 18 to 24 leaves, and you can get all three leaf types from the one plant. So you can have a wrapper from Nicaragua, a binder from Cameroon, Africa, and filler from uh, Nicaragua. Okay, so you've, the combining of all the leaves gives cigars its different flavors. So what a cigar is not. So cigars are premium virgin hand-rolled tobacco. Now, as compared to cigarettes, a cigarette is never ever touched by human hands until the customer opens a pack. A cigar, however, is never touched by a machine. It is completely handmade. It can take up to five years minimum just to get any cigar to market on a premium cigar. So it's a very high quality hand rolled product. From planting it in the field to watering to harvesting, which is called priming. There are multiple primings when you go through the, the field. They go through and take off all the bottom leaves that look the same and then they'll go through again and take off all the next level of leaves that look the same. And they'll do that like up to nine times and have all those separate. So the entire process is completely done by hand. So there's no machine involved in any step of the process. From the uh, primings in the field, uh, through the curing, aging, fermenting, rolling, boxing, all of it is completely done by hand. So it's a pretty cool process. You compared cigarettes to cigars. Do people smoke them for the same purposes? No, actually they don't. A cigarette is designed, its purpose is created to be a nicotine delivery device. And it is enhanced, manipulated, and made for that purpose. The smoke is more acidic. So when you draw it into your lungs, the acidity of the smoke helps your body uptake the nicotine in a cigarette. Okay. A cigar, on the other hand, is the smoke is more alkaline and it is not designed to be inhaled. It is only for the pleasure of the flavor. A cigar is used for relaxation, camaraderie, atmosphere. That's all it's used for. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. So you'll draw it in and blow it out. It's all about exciting the palate. Okay. So. So on your tongue, you've got the sweet, sour, salty, savory, and the bitter, and the spice receptors in the back. And each cigar is designed to excite different areas, okay? Some are a little more spicy, some are a little more smooth. You know, it depends on each individual person. That's why we tailor the cigar to the person, depending on what their likes and dislikes are. For instance, we would ask a person, you know, do you like the pastas that are a little more bland? Do you like... Mexican food that's kind of spicy, or do you like like steaks that are heavy and and stuff like that? So, which one would you like? I like Mexican food. I like a little bit of spice. Okay. Well, that takes us into a certain kind of cigars 
were like the, the sun groans and something with, with kind of a spicy hint to them. Okay, and if you haven't smoked cigars very much or not used to them, then we don't want something that's going to overpower you. Now, there is nicotine in the cigars. As a matter of fact, the nicotine level denotes the full bodiedness of the cigar. Okay, but even the fermentation process and the curing actually lowers the amount in that. So, any nicotine that you would get is from is passive. Okay, so it's not they're not designed to be smoked for the nicotine. Does the color have anything to do with the cigar? Well, actually, it does. Um, there is a difference. Um, as a matter of fact, I can show you these. In basic terms, there are two different colors. One is a Maduro. Uh, Maduro in, Span in Spanish means mature, and there's natural, or EMS, English Market Selection. So both of these are the exact same leaf, okay? Mm -hmm. But this one, the darker one, was actually aged a little longer on the, on the plant, getting a little more sunlight, which crystallizes the sugars and kind of concentrates the oils. So the flavor in a Maduro is going to be a little more full, okay? Okay. But it might be just a little sweeter as well, okay, because the sugars and stuff are a little concentrated. But the fullness sometimes scares away a lot of first-time smokers. But uh, the Maduro is actually a pretty good smoke if you like something that's a little heavier. So the natural is what most people go with. Uh, for instance, the 18, we would go with something like a Connecticut Shade wrapper. And I like suggesting the 18 to first-time smokers because it has a double Connecticut Shade wrapper on it. Anything in this humidor that says that has a wrapper of Connecticut is a nice smooth tobacco. No, it's a nice smooth cigar. So what the Kishano 18s have done is they have used a Connecticut shade wrapper as a binder and that wrapper was aged for 18 years before they put it on this cigar. So that's why they call it a Kishano 18 and then they put another uh, Connecticut wrapper on the outside. So this is a very good cigar. It's very smooth. It's got some great flavors to it and the Maduro has just a little more fullness to it. So both of these are good cigars. In talking about cigars, the, the way that you're going to find your favorite cigar is you're going to find out what the wrapper is. Say, for instance, this cigar here has a Dominican wrapper on it, and if you really like this cigar, then you would smoke other cigars in this humidor with that same wrapper on it. Now the binder and the filler kind of give it its character, okay? okay. So like uh, whether it's full or spicy or any of that, but the wrapper from Dominican Republic uh, is a pretty good wrapper. Arturo Fuente was the first company to actually start using wrapper from Dominican Republic. And now they're using the Opus X and they're pretty famous for that. So uh, the inch, uh, is a good cigar uh, that's just come out. It's made by the same gentleman that actually created the La Gloria's. So that's why he likes the big range, big ring gauge cigars. Now, whenever you're picking a cigar, you pick a cigar on the lengths, okay? You've got uh, Robusto, Churchill, Pyramid. So each one has a different length. So uh, Robusto size, can you? Hand me the Padron right there. This? This. No, yeah, that's fine. Now, this is like a Robusto size. This is, uh, will take you about 30 minutes, okay? Now, when you're smoking a cigar, smoking any tobacco, whether it's a cigar, even a cigarette, or a pipe, if you smoke them too fast, you're going to get a bite on your tongue, okay? So, if that cherry gets too red, you know, and you keep hot boxing it and you get drawing it too fast, You'll actually get a bite on your tongue, no matter what quality the tobacco is. By a bite, what do you mean, like a heat or well, a spice? Well, heat, you know, if, it get, if the smoke gets too hot, you're, it's going to burn the center of your tongue and it's going gonna, it's gonna to taste really bad. It's going gonna, it's gonna to turn the smoke more acidic, okay. okay, and it's really going to put a bad taste in your mouth, all right? So you have to smoke it slowly, so the key to enjoying premium tobacco is to smoke it slowly, all right? So if this takes you 30 to 45 minutes, you're doing good. If you smoke it in 15 minutes, it's way too fast. Okay. All right? So a Churchill, which would be like one of the 18s, 
this will take you an hour and a half minimum. Okay, and so if it if you smoke it faster than that, it's you're smoking it way too fast. Remember, cigars are meant to be enjoyed, so you smoke them very slowly. All right, so we talked a little bit about premium cigars and you know how they're grown, where they're grown around the world, and that they're all uh, premium virgin hand rolled tobacco. So, do you know now kind of like the flavor profile that you would like to try? I think I do. Um, I've tried a few of my husband's cigars, and they're a little too full-bodied for me. I'm thinking I want to try something maybe a little sweeter. Okay. All right. Well, we have something that you might like. In the context of premium cigars, the company uh, Drew Estate, which is here, they make the Acid line, the Natural line, the Tabox, and these are the same type and quality of cigars that we've talked about, but they've gone through an extra process of infusion, okay? So they have, there is a difference between an infused cigar and a flavored cigar. A flavored cigar would be like a Swisher Sweet, okay? They just okay. flavor the outside. You put it in your mouth, you get the flavor, but sometimes not really the aroma. Okay. The infused cigar that Drew Estate does is actually infused, and we'll look at this one here. This is their number one. It's called the Acid Cuba Cuba. It's very sweet, and the smoke is very light and airy. It's infused with over 140 different botanicals and essential oils and stuff. So it goes great with beer or pretty much anything else. Okay, When you're smoking Perfect. a cigar, basically any cigar, you want to drink something. Okay, It can be Coke, Diet Coke, tea. You know, alcohol does very well. You want to cleanse your palate. Okay? Help keep the smoke cleansed and so you're getting the taste of the cigar, all right? Okay. Now, with, uh, with the Cuba Cuba, I like smoking this in the summertime because the smoke is very light and airy, okay? So sometimes you can actually feel the weight of the smoke. You know, some smoke is very kind of heavy, but, you know, this one is really good with that. And they do different styles of sweetness. For instance, my favorite in the acid line is the Acid One. Now this cigar is infused with a slurry of five separate red wines and the Cameroon wrapper was aged an extra 120 days in a port wine barrel. So you've got the hint of sweetness and kind of the berryness of the wines. So this goes very well with a, you know, a nice red wine. Okay? okay. So it's, this is a hint if you don't like the sweetness of overpowering you. You know, this is a, this is a very nice, elegant cigar. Now, something else that you might like, uh, one of my favorites, either early in the morning or late in the evening, is a tabac. Okay? Now, the sweetness in this is from the cigar being infused with espresso coffee. Okay? So it's very dark and rich. It's almost like smoking a dark chocolate. It's not a chocolate cigar, but the richness of it gives you that sense of it. So if you want a cup of coffee, like late in the evening with a cigar, this is heaven. It's okay. just perfect. So this cigar is very good. And these cigars actually come in a natural and a Maduro. So if you like a cigar that's a little lighter, maybe a little sweeter, you can just pick the natural version of this. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so if you take your coffee with a little bit of cream with your coffee, you'll want to go with, with the darker. And then a little bit of coffee with your cream, you'll want to go with the lighter. So either way, <laughs> both of them, yes, it's an excellent, excellent cigar. Now the natural, the natural line is not flavored, okay? okay. But what they've done is every cigar in here uh, has a cap on it, okay? When they're rolling, when they're hand rolling the cigars, the one leaf on the outside of the wrapper is wrapped around and is covered on the top, okay? So whenever you get a cigar, you got to have to cut and penetrate that top, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what they use to keep that cap on there is like a little vegetable paste, all right? So what the natural cigars have done is that vegetable paste that they use, they sweeten that just a little bit, okay? So when you, when you put this in your mouth, you kind of get that hint of sweetness, okay? But the beautiful thing about the natural cigars that has 12 different countries worth of tobacco in it. So it's very complex, okay? But it's very smooth, it's very good, all right? 
So this is a great first time cigar for people who like just a little bit of sweetness, you know. And so this this one here happens to be the Juicy Lucy. It's very small, and this has a big punch of sweetness in it. All right. So the natural line is really good at being a first time cigar with just a hint of sweetness for people. Okay. So Lauren, we've talked a lot about cigars, and um, there are a lot of different flavor profiles and everything, and a lot of different qualities from the bundle cigars all the way up to the very expensive, and all of them have different flavor profiles. Do you have any questions or anything else we can add, we can talk about? Well, what is the best cigar ever made? I've always wondered that. Well, the best cigar is the cigar that you like, or the cigar that you're smoking. Okay, because everyone is different. All palates are different, okay? You know, it's like in foods, there are certain foods that people like and other people don't, okay? It's all about your, your specific palate. So the cigar that you love may not be the cigar that I like. You know, some people like sweet cigars and other people wouldn't smoke a sweet cigar to save their life. So it just depends on the individual person. That's why we like to tailor the cigars to the person because their tastes are completely different from anyone else. And so hopefully we do a good job at trying to match the scar to the person.